Today I'm gonna go over some tips to help you be able to work out with your mask. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to give you some tips to help you be able to train, to keep training with your mask on. A lot of places right now have mandatory masks. If you're lucky enough to have your gym still open, there's a good chance that you need to train with your mask on. So I just want to make this video to help you guys work out with your mask. Cause trust me, I was in the same boat. I was like, oh, there's no way I can do this with a mask on. So today I'm gonna give you guys a sample workout and give you some tips on how to breathe and feel okay with that mask on. Tip number one, if you don't want it to look like you're a teenage girl all over again when you take your mask off with a bunch of breakouts, I suggest not wearing any makeup underneath your mask. So then your pores won't get clogged because you are gonna sweat a little bit more in this area while you're working out. So you're gonna wanna wash your face immediately after you work out and not put any foundation from here to here. Nobody's gonna see it anyway, so if you still wanna put on makeup here, go for it. I've been doing like no foundation lately, um, just because I'm not gonna put on foundation on my forehead, and that's it. I'd also recommend washing your mask as often as possible. You can hand wash it at the end of the night um, and hang it up to dry if you're using a cotton mask like I am. Actually, this is part bamboo because it's easier on my skin. I have super, super sensitive skin. So it took me a few masks to try um, before finding this one. And it was just locally made. The third tip is to, while you're wearing your mask, is to breathe through your nose. I am definitely a mouth breather, as weird as that sounds. And I even suggest to a lot of my clients while they're weight training to breathe through their mouth um, to try to get extra air in. If you're a yogi, they suggest nose breathing. I would suggest nose breathing now because when you're wearing your mask, if you take a deep breath in, the mask kind of goes into your mouth and it makes you feel almost like you're kind of like choking and not getting enough air in. So it can kind of send a like panic response to you and I've been guilty of this. The first week or so that I was wearing a mask, just being like, oh my gosh, I can't breathe. But if you just stay calm and take your deep breaths through your nose, you will feel so much better. Another tip is if you're just finding that you're like, can't catch your breath and you're almost feeling a little panicky, go to the bathroom and just lift open your mask a little bit, you know, or if you're allowed to take your mask off in the bathroom, you know, find out what the protocols are there and catch your breath in the bathroom stall, however you're allowed, whether it's just giving yourself a little space or if you're allowed to take off your mask in the bathroom, every place might be different, but that's what I would do. Go there, catch your breath in a stall. And my final point is to change up your workouts. Slow it down, maybe go down in weight slightly, do less, maybe complex, moves so your heart rate won't get as high. So instead of doing like a double move, like a squat and a press, maybe divide it up so you're focusing, you know, just on presses first and maybe another day or another move you do squat separate. So then your heart rate won't get as high, which is fine. You can maybe be able to even go up in weight, but just focus maybe on muscle building right now versus calorie burning. So I would focus on, you know, getting your muscles to engage versus trying to like, get as many moves in a row, keep your heart rate up, which is something that I usually like to do. So right now, just get comfortable with breathing with the mask on, moving with the mask on, and getting your heart rate up a little bit with the mask on before maybe trying to go back to your regular program. So you could even change up your split, whether you know doing an arm day, chest day, more like a bro style lift, even though that's not the type of thing I normally do, it's okay right now. It's more important that we stay fit, stay active, than we just totally stop because our normal workouts are too hard to do right now with the masks on. And to be totally honest, guys, this is actually my first time working out with a mask on. I wanted to try it because now all my clients need to work out with masks and I work out alone in my gym, so I'm allowed to work out without a mask. But I wanted to try it so I could, you know, give you guys some good feedback and to see what all the fuss is about. And we all look like ninjas. I mean, that's kind of cool. Let's do this.
just finished my workout and I'm still trying to catch my breath through my nose. At times, like I keep wanting to breathe in through my mouth to try and really catch my breath. And I find that makes it way worse. So if I could give you any tips is to keep trying to catch your breath through your nose. It really makes a difference. You may need to take longer breaks because I find catching your breath takes way longer. Like I'm still, feel like I almost can't take a deep breath, but that's okay. If I stay calm and just like focus on that, breathing through my nose, I know that I can keep going. It's better than the alternative, which is not working out. Like I definitely felt on my muscles. And like in my mind, I feel like our cardio is gonna improve after this. But we'll have to wait and see, because once we take our mask off and are able to do workouts without mask again, we're gonna feel like a million bucks. So keep going, take longer breaks at any time. Like I found the upper body moves quite easy to keep, catch my breath. Legs were a little tougher when I just isolated the legs with the squat little circuit. The combo moves weren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. So I say the hardest two were the legs to catch my breath. What I did is I went really slow through the move. I think that might be crucial right now is going slowly through the moves. And then the last one, the abs were a little challenging, but then I just focused on nose breathing the entire time. And I'm starting to catch my breath. I almost feel like I'm back to normal. <laughs> so probably a little longer recovery than I'm used to. Gonna get some water. Hopefully that wasn't too annoying, having to listen to me through the mask. I now have to train all my clients through the mask, so I'm sure you guys are used to it by now. Hopefully that helps you get through your own workout. And if you're working out at home and you have dumbbells, you can repeat this anywhere. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, let me know and I'll have some more videos and workouts coming for you soon. Am I the only one who's not drinking enough water right now with the mask? Chug, if you haven't drank water yet today, chug with me. All right guys, see you in the next one. Bye.